Hey guys, Jonathan Brown Menzies coming at you late September. We're at 200 West Street, headquarters of Goldman Sachs Investment Bank. Uh, this is their new headquarters. Uh, it was built in 2009. You can see it kind of in the corner there. They have 2009 carved right into the uh, brick. Just going to get out the building uh, from another angle here. We're at the front. They have a bike path coming through. Then they have a drop off TLC Bank. Let's see, I got some notes here was started in 1869, went public in 1999. They moved uh, right after the big crisis, Wall Street crisis. This yeah. is private? Yeah, this is private. I'm, I'm not allowed from the sidewalk to take a picture of the that's building? What, that's what I don't want. I don't want to. Really? Yeah. All right, tell them it's just for my blog. Can I do it from over there? What are you trying to take a picture of? not trying to take a picture of it, just doing it from my blog. Just got some notes on the building. Notes on the building? Yeah. I'm not going to go in or anything. I'm just going to do it from the street. Yeah, they don't like to take pictures. Oh, people. I know. They're secret. No security. No, there's no security cameras and everything like that. All right. What if if I go over there? Or can I do yeah, it across the street? I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to be a threat or anything. Yeah. All right. Well, sorry, officer. Thank okay. you. All right. They're a little secretive here, but that's okay. He was cool about it. So we're just going to go across the street. If you take a look at these outer offices, uh, according to my research, the outer offices are only given to partners. And you got the city view over here. The other side, you got a water view. Those are probably the most sought after. So I'm guessing the corner office right up there, that's uh, Lloyd Blankfein. He's the CEO. And here we are on the back side of Goldman Sachs headquarters, 200 West Street. And some information for you, according to Glassdoor, kind of entry level slot in analyst makes 70 grand a year starting off associate 112 vice president 168,000 a year and that's not really a lot of money when you consider you're living in New York City uh, definitely Manhattan you're, you're not going to be able to live a great life on that maybe Queens Brooklyn the Bronx but definitely not in Manhattan unless you're uh, north of 110th Street or in some illegal basement apartment and managing directors, they bump it up a little bit. Managing directors average out at 379000 That's according to Glassdoor. And, of course, that's only what people tell you. It's all voluntary. There's no way to tell if they're lying, if they're telling the truth. Who knows? Uh, but still, that, that's a decent middle-class income, especially for New York City if you're looking to raise a family with, like, a three-bedroom apartment in a nice area. And what's considered the gold standard of Wall Street, a partner at Goldman Sachs. It's your ticket to being a millionaire influence uh, after you leave the bank if you want to get a job in government or go out on your own. Uh, they have a salary, according to news reports that I read in Wall Street Journal, New York Times, stuff like that, 900000 a year, and then they split 20% of the bonus pool. So 20% of the bonus pool, that means in a good year, they could be looking at multi, multi-million dollar pay year. And Goldman Sachs is probably one of the most sought after, if not the most sought after, employee on Wall Street. According to reports that I've read, they accept only 4% of applicants, which is pretty, pretty selective, right up there with the top tier colleges and universities all around the world. But if you make it, it's worth working hard. The partners have a process called cross-ruffling, which they talk to each other kind of in secret, and they decide who's going to be in the next partner class. And just to spit off a couple of the names of people who are Goldman Sachs alumni who have gone on to illustrious careers, Hank Paulson, Treasury Secretary, also Robert Rubin, Mario Draghi, European Central Bank President, Mark Carey, Governor of the Bank of England, and of course John Corzine, Governor and Senator from New Jersey. And as we look up into the corner offices of the Goldman Sachs headquarters at 200 West Street here in New York, just going to rattle off some compensation numbers from 2015. Uh, again, I don't know if this was their best year. I don't think it was anywhere close to their best year because of all the regulations. But Lloyd Blankfein, Chairman CEO, $22.5 million. Gary Cohn, President and COO, $20.5 million. Michael Sherwood, Vice Chair, $24.6 million. Mark Schwartz, Vice Chairman and Chairman of Goldman Sachs Asia Pacific, $24.1 million. Harvey Schwartz, Executive Vice President and CEO, $20.5 million. And last but not least, Edith Cooper. It doesn't have her compensation listed, but she's the public face of Goldman Sachs. And anytime you see him doing interviews or anything like that, she's usually the one on TV. She's got quite a presence representing the bank. Uh, her title is Global Head of Human Capital.
Goldman Sachs now has a retail bank that they bought from General Electric. It's an online bank, but you can become a customer for, I believe, as little as 10 bucks, and the interest rates are pretty good. So that about wraps it up, guys. Here again at 200 West Street, global headquarters of Goldman Sachs. And again, notice how they don't have a sign or anything advertising. Actually, this is Goldman Sachs, and that's what I like about the bank. They're kind of under the radar, and uh, the executives are like that, too. They're not too flashy. They all give a lot of money, serve on various boards. And I was reading, interestingly, a lot of the Goldman Sachs partners even take the subway to work. But Goldman Sachs sure did build a beautiful building here at 200 West Street, and we thank them for that. We thank them for staying in New York City when they could have moved anywhere in the world. A lot cheaper places to do business than downtown Manhattan. So that's it for this video, guys. Again, uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you really liked it. And any comments or suggestions you have for me, just leave them in the comments box. Thank you.